very first game of October, the spookiest of the month. It starts raining. We get a thunderstorm. The crazy rain happening. Hold on a second. Let me turn this off. There we go. Nope. Find out. Hello, hello. There we go. Finally. Oh my goodness. It's this is the bewitching. This is crazy what's happening right now. The mic gets fuzzy, the mic's not fuzzy. There's a thunderstorm outside. The elements are conspiring against us, but we will persevere because we are Swag Bucks Live, and that is what we do here. We bring you the trivia to the best of our ability in any conditions. And welcome to all of you. I hope it's not raining where you are. Boy, the clouds are ominous. It's just like one giant cloud out there. The rain fell. We had the lightning. We had the thunder. We got a minute left before the game. Oh my goodness. And on a day when there's no Facebook, who are we going to tell? Who are we going to tell about this weather when there's no Facebook? We have to turn no Facebook, no Instagram. We can't take lainy pictures to send. Oh my goodness. What Of all the days. Of all the days. But at least we're going to have fun today. I love what our graphics department, by the way, did with this creative take a look at that it's like we're in the wilderness we're sort of in a rainforest maybe it's the graphics that did this i don't want to cast blame around but it's possible oh there's just a lightning flash so who knows maybe we'll lose power <coughs> maybe we won't but no matter what we are committed to bringing this game to you and so i say right now that it's time to tap into your inner beast so you can go home a winner at this animal edition of Swag Bucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. Your knowledge of all creatures, great and small, is your passport to the winner's circle where you'll be greeted with this gargantuan grand prize. Yes, that is $2,500. And when you correctly answer all 10 of our multiple choice trivia questions about animals, well, you will win a share of it. Now, that's not all you get for playing this game. It never is. Because in this game, you will earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one. Even if you've already been eliminated. This is separate from the grand prize. Just for playing, questions two through ten will get you one SB if you get them right. Now, in the case that you're eliminated from grand prize contention, but you're earning all these bonus SB, at the end of the game, we ask you to claim them. That's what adds them to your account so you can keep them. It's as simple as a button that will appear once the game concludes. <clears throat> but for those of you who win a piece of that $2,500 grand prize today, you won't have to claim anything because your bonuses will be rolled into your share of that huge grand prize. Now, what happens the first time you're eliminated, you may ask? Well, if it is before question number 10, you have the option to rejoin and give yourself another shot at this $2,500 grand prize. You can do that using SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin, which if you think about it, with the bonus SB you're going to earn, might be a worthwhile investment for you. Or you can use free rejoins. Those of you who played during Second Chance Week last week probably have plenty of free rejoins, so you are ready to go in the case you're eliminated. But I know you're smart people. There's a good chance you won't be eliminated at all. That's how confident I am in your game. Now, speaking of the game with a mighty roar, the comments have been banished. And your warm-up question is ready to pounce. Here is question number one. What is the term for a group of lions? Is it a gaggle, a pride, or a school? What do we call a group of lions? This collective noun befits animals with their grace and power, who already stride around like they own whatever place they're in. A group of lions... Well, that's called a pride, my friends. Pride is the answer. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. Love to see it. I also see the people who are eliminated, you're rejoining. That's great, too. Give yourself another shot at the grand prize. We did just have the lights flicker a little bit, but everything still seems to be going. We seem to be doing all right, so I'm not going to stop. We have over 28,000 people in grand prize contention. Over 29,500 of you playing right now. And guess what? Yeah, that's right. It's exciting. 
Every single question you get right from here on in earns you one bonus SP. Starting right now with question number two. Here it is. Which of these animals is the fastest? Is it the cheetah, the slug, or the tiger? Which of these animals is the fastest? The speediest! They can run up to 80 miles per hour, which helps them catch prey, but they also are in constant danger of running low on food. If you've watched any David Attenborough stuff, you might have seen that. Anyway, we're talking about cheetahs, of course. Cheetahs, super fast cheetahs. 99% plus of you getting that one right. Well done. That means as soon as I have the next question available, we're going to jump right into it. We're not going to wait at all. Here is question number three worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. What sea creature gives us pearls? Is it the oyster, the lobster, or the flounder? Which one of them there creatures gives us poils? We eat them raw, and they're like nature's Cracker Jack boxes. Because you just might find a prize in your oyster when you open it. Oyster is the answer. 99% of you getting that one right. Well done. If you're playing, have any of you been to a seafood restaurant and opened an oyster and found a pearl in there? Does that happen that often? Feels like it happens in cartoons more than it happens anywhere else, but it has to have happened somewhere in real life for it to be shown in a cartoon. That just feels like a real world, real world situation that they would dramatize. So those of you out there, if you're either a cartoon character or just a person who loves seafood, maybe you've had that happen to you. In which case, I hope your teeth are all right. Let's move on to question number four worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Which of the following is a type of gorilla? Is it a gold back, silver back, or bronze back? Which of those is a type of gorilla? If you want a fun YouTube watch, find the video of the baby robot gorilla that researchers planted in a colony that the other gorillas won't touch until their leader, the Silverback, approved. Silverback Gorilla is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right. Well done. You know, apes together, strong. And players together, strong. So many of you together in the right answer on that one. If there was a gold back and a bronze back, that would be kind of an interesting sort of social structure. You would think the gold back would be in charge, but unfortunately, only the silver back exists. We are moving on to question number five. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q5. What animal uses a pouch to carry their newborns? Is it a raccoon, a lemur, or a kangaroo? One of these animals is known for carrying around its offspring in a pouch on its body. The pouch allows their joeys to stay warm and nurse while the moms remain mobile so that they can attack parachuters. Like in that one video, you know, where the kangaroo is attacking the parachuter. He's like, all right, come on, leave me alone. 99.5% of you getting that one right. Well done. You knew kangaroo was the answer. Almost 100% of you. Enough that the people who clicked the wrong answer probably just your nerves got the better of you or maybe you sneezed or something. That's okay. It happens. None of us are perfect. I can attest to that. We are ready to move on to question number six. We are halfway through this game rocking and rolling, moving faster than a cheetah. This next one worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q6. According to the saying, what animal never forgets? Is it the hawk, the snake, or the elephant? Which of these animals is known for its long memory? They can forget, but their long memory spans help them remember friends, enemies, and places where their pack has found food and water. Very important to the survival of elephants. Elephant is the answer. 83% of you getting that one right. We had 11% say snake, which would be really scary. I mean, snakes are already pretty scary as it is, but if they could remember things... Like, oh, I remember that you come outside every day at 9 a.m., so I'm going to wait here and pounce on you. That's no good. Nisht git, as they would say in the old country. But we have already the people who got that one wrong. Well over three quarters of you coming right back in. We still have over 26,000 people in grand prize contention. Almost 30,000 of you still playing this game. Stick it along. Playing for the bonus SB because there are plenty more for you to earn. Right now, you can earn a bonus SB by correctly answering question number seven. Here is Q7. What creature has eardrums on its abdomen? 
Is it sharks, grasshoppers, or eels? One of these critters has its ears on its tummy. Now, if you ask one to keep an ear to the ground, these things just have to lie down. Their location of their oral receptors allows grasshoppers to better detect and process sound waves. Grasshoppers is the answer. 77% of you getting that one right. Well done. That's right. They got an ear on their tummy. So when they're hungry, they really hear that like it gets really loud in their ears. But of the 23% of you who were eliminated again. Over 80% of you coming right back in. That's what I love to see. All the free rejoins that we gave you last week, they're being put to use and good use, might I add. We still have almost 25,000 people vying for a piece of our $2,500 grand prize. Still over th almost 30,000 of you hanging with us. Only three questions remaining as I race this electrical storm to finish the game. This next one is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number eight. Which of these cartoon characters is a cat? Is it Heathcliff, Fred Bassett, or Marmaduke? Which of those cartoon characters is a cat? Now, we all know that no one should terrorize the neighborhood, but he just won't be undone playing pranks on everyone. That's what Junkyard Cat, Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrorize the neighborhood. Yes! That's right, Heathcliff won't be undone, but 96% of you also will not be undone. You got that one right. You are moving on. Only two questions remaining, standing between you and our $2,500 grand prize. And I dare say we're ready to move on to our second to last question. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is Q9. Where would you find a lamprey? On a mountain, up a tree, or in the ocean? Where is the elusive lamprey found? To look at one of these is to look at pure terror, a gaping maw loaded with tiny, razor-sharp teeth on a creature whose primary source of nutrition is blood. And they live in the ocean. They live in the ocean. I'm so glad they're in the ocean. We're not in the ocean. 20,085 of you knew that answer. You made it this far and you are ready for a final question. And as a reminder, if you had fun playing this game and you are crushing it today, so I can't imagine you doing anything but having a good time, why not share that good time with the special people in your life? Why not send a text, send an email, post to the social media that's still working with the hashtag SBLive, but include your special share link no matter what. You can find that link after the game by clicking the invite or get more rejoins button in the main menu of this app. If people sign up using your link, you get a free rejoin. And so do they. That's a good deal. Now, before we get to our final question, Try America's number one gummy vitamin brand with delicious natural berry citrus flavor and earn SB. Here's how. Add Vitafusion to your list in Magic Receipts. Then buy one eligible Vitafusion Super Immune Support Gummies or Vitafusion Prebiotic Immune Support Gummies in store at Target or online at Target.com and earn 200 SB when you upload your receipt as proof of purchase. If you buy two... You are in 700 SB. Now you have to be a US player to take advantage of this offer. Check it out after the game to learn more. Next time you're going to Target, add these to your list. Buy one of the super immune support gummies. Buy one of the prebiotic immune support gummies. You can try them both out. You're gonna earn 700 SB for that just for taking care of yourself and doing shopping you're already gonna do. Get out of town. That is amazing. Magic receipts, just the best. We have 21,881 of you vying for a piece of our $2,500 grand prize. Almost 30,000 of you. Pretty much everybody playing the game is stuck around till the very end. That just warms my heart to no end. And we got one more question to go. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here is question number 10. Which of the following birds cannot fly? Is it the hawk, the emu, or the pigeon? Which bird cannot fly? If you've seen those Liberty Mutual commercials with the Limu Emu, you know that these things are so big that watching them fly through the sky would just be too much. Emu is the answer. 20,955 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. Congratulations to each and every one of you taking home a piece of those big bucks. 12 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Catch you, Watson. I'm going to catch you in the winner's circle. That's that's what I'm going to do. DPM, DPMR, for, DPMR fear. 
You have nothing to fear. You're a winner. Heather McConnell, you are a winner as well, as is Vandy Vaughn and Big Lab Gauche. Congratulations to each and every one of you who won a piece of our grand prize. Congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SP, stuck around, and claimed them. You're winners as well. And as you continue to add these SB to your account, they just keep piling up, piling up, piling up. The day comes in a person's life where they need to do something with those SB. When that time comes, you know exactly what to do, don't you? Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thank you for playing, everyone. We'll be back tomorrow with your Tuesday game. This has been Swagbucks Live, and take that, Thunderstorm.